the market began about two and a half years ago. Um, I've been living in, in Dallas for a couple of years, and I noticed that there aren't any outdoor markets. Whereas if you live in even LA or New York, Chicago, San Francisco, you turn a corner and you're gonna find some kind of outdoor activity. That, I didn't find that in Dallas, so I figured if no one else is doing it, then I'll try my hand. In order to sustain a vibrant community, you need commerce happening 24 hours a day. Deep Ellum, when it's considered as an entertainment district, fosters only nighttime activities, whereas you need people walking around and participating in commerce even during the daytime. And the lunch crowd is okay, but other than that, there's not that much activity. What the market aims to do is to show that Deep Ellum can be a place for commerce when the sun is still out. That there can be positive and fun activities during the day to balance what it naturally happens here at night. Well, the market has two goals. Okay. One is to uh, promote local businesses and local artists and give them a venue to, to sell and, and exhibit their stuff. Uh, number two is to help foster a walkable community. styles. Um, one of the styles we have is kind of a French Victorian mixed with a little bit of Tim Burton and kind of a whimsical style. We also have handmade products. Um, a lot of people here have handmade products, but something you can't find at Target or Walmart. Um, every time you see our booth, we'll always have something different because we're always experimenting and there's no telling what you'll see and what inspires us to do other things. My name is Alex Freeman. I work for Queen City Tattoo. Um, I would have to say that nobody else that has a booth here has anything like ours. Um, it's mostly tattoo related um, imagery. Uh, I mean, that kind of stands us out from the list. Yeah. Um, so we do a lot of Texas stuff. Uh, a lot of people like it. Um, I think they have a problem figuring out where they're going to hang it. But we do stuff like that, and then again, just tattoo imagery. A classic peacock with a skull face, snakes, daggers, eyeballs, eagles. Um, basically just an array of different stuff that has to do with tattooing and the stuff that we love. So, awesome. Melissa Dees with Dallas Public Library. And I am Matthew Bennett with the Dallas Public Library. Among many things, the bookmobile basically serves communities that are not close to another library building um, or where the residents may have trouble getting transportation. It's, just, it's not just books anymore. Though. I mean, we have everything. You know? We have CDs, we have movies, we have. You know, the, with the e-books, I mean, we're up on technology. We're not just like, oh, that's like for, you know, that's what my grandmother did, you know? It's like, no, man, it's like everybody uses a library. We're still important, we're still needed, so, yeah. I'm Brandon Pollard, and my uh, company is the Texas Honeybee Guild. We are purveyors of the products of the beehive. So what we do is the bees make it perfect and the humans screw it up. So we work with the bees and we try to stay out of the way because the bees make it perfect. So we put things in jars that people really appreciate that have on their tables. 
and so uh, the important thing is is that we actually have the ability to tell the story and the bees are in trouble. There's about a 38% uh, decline of bees in America. So we need to make sure that we're protecting that uh, to make sure that we have the bees that are uh, giving themselves and ourselves the opportunity to tell the story. One of the difficulties of getting people down here is people's preconceived notions that this is a dangerous place. And it had earned that reputation, you know, a decade ago or whenever the downturn was. Nonetheless, uh, it, it, the fight is winning people over again. That this is an okay place to come with your family, with your kids. And especially during the day. Well, to bring a community together, you have to have something that people like and want to do. Um, and it brings your friends together. So having the vendor fair, first it starts with your friends. You invite them and then they invite their friends and it gets bigger and bigger. People that live around here and own businesses around here definitely see that something's going on in the street and just want to come out and be a part of it. And it's just good for business because it introduces new people to new businesses. And I think it brings a sense of community. I think that we're all starved for interaction and communication and uh, intimacy. And certainly farmers markets and markets and places that integrate that in the way of uh, whether it's exchange through product or just exchange through conversation or an exchange through a piece of chalk on the roadway. Uh, these are all places and little baskets that we can create um, to carry things uh, in a more integrative way and not a disintegrative way. The market really shows that people are looking to looking to come to D Deep Ellum for something and they want to bring their their kids out for something and that there's there's stuff going on in Deep Ellum it's not it's not what it used to be I would like to fill up the space right now we are on Main Street and we shut it down and the majority of the off the retail spaces on Main Street are empty. It would be so great to fill that space in, to have you know, not only the vendors in the middle of the street, but to have interaction with the local businesses that could potentially be in these locations. So, what again, what I want is a walkable, pedestrian-friendly neighborhood. And if the market can help in just slightly in nudging the neighborhood in that direction, then I feel like I would have done my job.